Good morning. I'm Jakob Krusel from the University of Heidelberg, and this is joint work with my PhD supervisor Carsten Rote and Uwe Schmidt from MPICBG in Dresden. Image deep blurring remains an important task in image restoration, for example, to undo the effects of camera shake. We adopt the common blur model where an unobserved uh, observed image arises from convolution of a sharp image with a single blur kernel plus some pixel independent Gaussian noise. Reversing this process is called deconvolution. And in this work, we assume that the blur kernel is known or estimated beforehand. Many popular deconvolution methods obtain the deblurred image by solving a sequence of linear equation systems. These equation systems are very large and can be very time consuming to solve. Hence, this approach generally does not scale to large megapixel sized images. However, it is possible to solve each equation system very efficiently if we assume that the blurred image was generated via convolution with circular boundary conditions. In this case, each equation system can be diagonalized in Fourier space and solved in closed form, which does scale to large images. F here denotes the fast Fourier transform, and A and B are regularization terms. The classic Wiener filter for deconvolution is an example of this, where A is dropped and B is just the ratio of noise and image spectra. More recently, and with much better results, Schmidt and Roth proposed shrinkage fields by discriminatively learning A and B from training data. However, their regularizer A is limited since it consists of shrinkage functions which are applied pixel independently. Furthermore, they learn linear filters which are shared among A and B. We improve on this in two major ways. Our first contribution is to replace the pixelwise applied shrinkage functions with more expressive convolutional neural networks, which also decouples A and B. Secondly, we propose a new boundary adjustment strategy to cope with the circular boundary assumption that underlies all Fourier-based deconvolution methods. Essentially, the assumption states that the border region of an observed blurry image, marked here in red, wraps around on each side. This is, of course, not true for typical blurred photographs, so the assumed boundary area is missing and must be created artificially. Based on analysis of two recent papers by Matakos et al. and Almeida et al., we propose a method that goes beyond the common edge tapering approach and makes use of the iterative nature of our framework. After each iteration, we take the current best estimate of the sharp image, blur it with circular boundaries, and add the resulting border region to the observed blurry image. This allows us to substantially improve restoration quality, as shown here in green. Importantly, our boundary adjustment can be applied to any Fourier-based method, like shrinkage fields or the classic Wiener filter. Here's an especially striking example. The strong ringing artifacts in the left image are caused by improper boundary handling. Our adjustment alleviates this problem. It's trivial to implement, parameter-free, and does not add computational cost to iteration. Finally, this is the performance of our best model on a common deep blurring benchmark. By combining our better regularization with CNNs and our proposed boundary adjustment, we achieve a clear improvement over shrinkage fields, which are shown on the left. We even slightly outperform state-of-the-art methods shown on the right, which are orders of magnitude slower than our method. So if you're interested, please come visit our poster, number 16, or download our code. Thank you very much for your attention.